Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I'm going to solve one of the questions of 2015 class 12 board's practical paper of computer science. So I have this question one in front of me. So I'm going to follow my usual strategy. I will read the question, clear all my doubts in the question, prepare an outline of code in my mind and then I'm going to code it out. So let's read the question. Given to positive, positive numbers M and N, such as M is between 100 and 1000 and N is less than 100, find the smallest integer that is greater than M and whose digits add up to 1. For example, if M is equal to 100 and N is equal to 11, then the smallest integer greater than 100 whose digits add up to 11 is 90. Write a program to accept numbers M and N from the user and print the smallest required number whose sum of digits equal to N. Also print the total number of digits present in the required number. Okay, the program should check for validity of the inputs and display an appropriate for the invalid input. That's your program with the sample data in the right For m is equal to 100 and n equals to 11, the required number, the total number of digits is 3, okay. m is equal to 15 and n equals to 25, okay. Required number is this. For m is equal to 99 is invalid input and n is equal to 130 is also invalid input. Okay. So when I read the question, the question is quite clear to me. So I don't have any doubts in the question. Uh, the only thing you can possibly think of is I I I don't I don't feel there is any doubt in the question. Plus I already have an outline of the code in my mind. So if you if the outline of the code does not strike you right away, give it five minutes. Read it, read it maybe one more time. So it might strike. Okay. So let's get on to the code. So I have this main class written. Okay, so I am going to write a separate method to check, to calculate the sum of digits of a number. So, a method to find the sum of digits of a of an integer static int find sum of digits int n. This method is, is static because public static void main is static and since public static void main is static uh, so a static method can only assess other static methods so if I remove this then I'll, ha I'll have to create an object of m and n and then call this function from that object so rather than doing that I'm just directly writing it static so that this method can be assessed from the main okay to have to find the sum of digits so to store the sum of digits. I'm going to follow the standard technique of taking out the last digit and then adding it to the present counter and then removing the last digit as long as you don't get to zero. While n is not equal to zero, and sum of digits as long as n is uh, digit in n get the last digit so the idea the standard idea of getting the last digit from any number is to uh, get it uh, is to get it percent 10 so int digit is equals to n percent 10 so this will give you the last digit the digit at the units place add it to the sum sum plus equal to sum sorry sum of digits plus equal to digit remove the last digit from the n so n is equals to n by 10 is a standard technique to remove the last digit from n now we will return the sum return sum of digits so whenever I write a solve program for board exam, so I always tell that your input and output in your code, in your actual program run should be as close as possible to given to that given in the question paper. So I'm going to prompt for m is equal to like this and then I expect the user to enter uh, input 100 and similarly I'm going to prompt for n and I expect the user to input n. So and I'm going to use data input stream to read uh, input from the user. You can use any other method, any uh, scanner or buffer data, whichever whichever way you have been taught. So to read input data input stream 
So I'm going to use dis dot read line to read a line from the input, and since this line read is a string, I will use integer dot pass in to convert that string into the corresponding in into the string uh, into integer value. Sorry. So I've read the value of n. Let me read the value of n. Read the Okay, now we validate the values of values of m and n. So m has to be between hundred and one hundred and ten thousand. And n has to be less than thousand. N has to be less than hundred. If m is not in range, that is, if m greater than equal to hundred and m is less than equal to ten thousand, or not, n is less than hundred. So this if condition is the condition that checks for the wrong values of m and n m and n so the first condition is this means that m is greater than equal to 100 and m is less than equal to 10000 which is the valid range so putting a not in front of it gives the invalid range and similarly n is less than 100 is the valid range putting a not in front of it gives an invalid range so either of these invalid ranges will give will, give, will uh, tell the user that the input is invalid and terminate the program check what is the since I always tell you to keep your output as close as possible to the one given in the question so I'll output invalid input and terminate the program so typing a return would do and you can use system.exit and pass an integer value to it that's the other way to terminate the program okay so my validation of the values is checked now find the smallest integer greater find the smallest integer greater than equal to m greater than m sorry yeah greater than m and whose digits add up to whose digits add up to m so i start with m is equals to m plus 1 since I have to start with a value greater than m and I go till less than m and I go till I don't find the sum of sum of digits while not sum find sum of digits small m is equal to capital M Increment the value of m and plus plus. So there will be a point where this condition will become false, will become true. Sorry, the sum of the digits of value m will be equal to n, and then uh, this loop will break and I will get the value of m. So let's print out the value of uh, the let's check out if the value of uh, let's check out if this program is correct or not, and then we will find out the number of digits in that number. So System dot out dot and then keeping the output as close as possible to the required number. Required number is equals to plus small m. 
will go back to Java C. Java M and N. So M is equals to 100 and N is 11. So the required number is just 119. Let me check for another M1525. M1500 and 25 and 69 and okay 99 and 11 so 99 and 11 invalid input 112 and 130 112 and 130 okay so my sample execution is exactly the same all I need to do is add the number of digits so Calculate the number of digits in M. In num digits in M is equal to zero. I will use the same technique while M is not equal to zero. And by putting system dot out dot print element total number of digits number of digits equals to one digits in this compile and check. So hundred and eleven. Okay. Fifteen hundred and twenty-five. Okay. Ninety-nine and eleven. And for the invalid number of invalid input will be invalid. So the program is working exactly the way it is supposed to. And this is the complete program so I hope this program was helpful to you and it was clear to you so if you like this video do subscribe to this channel and like this video as well and thank you for watching